Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the rise and fall of these foot birthday cards. What are they gonna be doing? Are their prices gonna rise or fall over the next week, over the next couple days in foot? Because I know a lot of you guys are wanting to know, when do I buy these players? When's the best time to buy them? Because a lot of these cards are fitting into your teams. And you know, with the skill move and the weak foot upgrades, uh, they're just cool, right? It's just something new that we've never seen before in foot. So, you know, we're kind of learning on the fly with this as well. We're learning that people enjoy a five-star weak foot on Mbappe so much that he costs as much as his team of the year, which is pretty crazy. Um, but it makes that big of a difference in game. People realize that and his price is now starting to reflect that. So I'm going to talk through some of these things today. Some of these cards kind of fall under the same boat. You know, guys like Lozano, um, guys like the Joaquin Correa, you know, some of the lower tier guys in this squad of players, uh, Guerrero, uh, DeGene, the guys that we're not talking about as much. And then some of these guys are going to kind of fit in the same category, like the Hazard, the Griezmann, uh, the Rashford, stuff like that. So Mbappe is the first one I want to talk about, though, because Mbappe is in his own kind of class, own kind of category at the moment um, on foot. This card, it's nuts. And with a five star weak foot it's even more crazy because now we have two versions of mbappe uh this one's 5.2 right now at the moment i think the team of the year is like 5.3 as well so they're basically the same price between these two cards which is honestly crazy didn't think that i would see obviously you, you think team of the years are going to be the most expensive all year but people are saying and this is what the word on the street is is that this five star weak foot on mbappe is making him cracked and unreal just because you know four star weak foot it's still really good, it's solid, but the five star just makes all the difference. And I'm not somebody who plays a lot of FIFA, as you can tell. So this is where my knowledge is maybe not the highest, but I've been talking to a lot of people and it makes sense why this card is still being valued at the same price as the team of the year. Now, do I think it's gonna stay the same price? I do not think so. I think that this card and the team of the year, the team of the year has dropped a little bit already. I think both of these cards are gonna drop coming out of this weekend. Mbappe for his continued pack supply, he's in packs and a lot of people when they play with the card on the weekend, they end up selling it because they think, and it's very logical, that that card is going to drop over the next week of foot. So this guy was 5.1 million coins today during the second set of lightning rounds on Saturday. I do think he will get back down to 5.1. I think he'll get back down to 5 mil flat before this is all said and done. Again, it's going to be hard to combat the supply. I think this one will stay around the 5-2. It might dip into the 5-1s again. It was 5-1 on, on Friday. Um, but I, if you if you bought this card for like 4.9 million coins and you sold it um, because you saw it went up so much and you're like, it's still early. I think it's going to go down. I think you're correct. I think this card's going to be back down to 5 mil. Could maybe crack below 5 million coins later this week, depending on what types of SBCs come out and what packs they put in the game. And I think you'll have another entry point on this card later in the week. Again, these cards are out for a whole week. So we have time. We have time on these cards. And again, that's one thing that is the biggest variable here. As we Let's go check on Griezmann. The biggest variable here with these cards is what is EA going to do for content this week? We never know what EA is going to drop content wise. If they drop a big time flashback like a Pogba that is very doable, that that is good value and kind of cheap, um, then... That would be an SBC this market would go crazy for. The people in this game would go crazy for a Paul Pogba SBC, and you would see some prices affected by that because people would go have to go sell some of these cards to go do that SBC. And also, uh, if we get a guaranteed foot birthday SBC, I'll talk about this now. If we get a guaranteed foot birthday SBC, which I think would be in week two, usually, and this is what happened with the shapeshifters. I don't know if you guys remember this. I'm going to use Vinicius as an example, but... If we do get a guaranteed SBC, the hardcore players on this game, basically you guys that are watching this video, if you're watching this video, you're a hardcore foot player, believe it or not, you are, you are. If you're watching YouTube, if you watch Twitch streams, even if you like follow Twitter to an extent, you're more of a hardcore FIFA player. This Vinicius Jr. was like, you know, 500K, I think. And he was in packs, 500K. He dropped down to 400K flat because of the pack code coming out before the SBC even came out. This guy dropped down to 400K, dropped 100K because people thought the guaranteed Shapeshifter SBC is coming and these guys are going to drop in price because they're going to get packed. If that happens for Foot Birthday, that's going to be a massive, massive, that's going to be the best time to buy. If we get that SBC and you see the panic start to form, that would be the best time 
to buy these foot birthday players in that panic sell. As of right now, they're still in packs. And I'm gonna say for basically all of these cards, you're gonna wanna wait a little longer. Mbappe is the one that I'm the most kind of curious about. But I think all these guys are gonna drop. Griezmann right now is 165. This guy was 147 during lightning rounds on Friday. 1619, that's a solid undercut. And you can tell there's a lot of demand for these cards because they if, if you get a little undercut like that, that's probably going to sell pretty quick. I know it's nighttime, so it might not sell instantly. But during the day, that would sell instantly for like a 30K undercut like that. That would sell that would sell very, very fast on the market. So there's a lot of demand for these cards, but there's also a decent amount of supply. These cards got packed a ton from saved up packs that were open on Friday with all the lightning rounds. They put out some pretty big numbers in the lightning rounds this weekend. Um, for the 50Ks, for the 100Ks and 125K packs. These cards pop up during lightning rounds a decent amount. So with the supply these cards have, I think they're going to be dropping lower this week. I think Griezmann could be back to 1.5 at some point later this week. I think it's very possible. Hazard uh, is another one that a lot of people want to know about. What is this card going to do this week? This guy right now is like, what, 145? He's been like 1.5 since he came into packs, I think. He's dropping down. I could see this being at 1.3. This guy doesn't have as much hype as some of the other ones do. I could see this around 1.3 mil later this week. And again, part of the reason that I think these cards are going to drop is just because the amount of rise they had this weekend, as I look at some of these on Footbin, the amount of rise that I've seen on these this weekend, and I start to see some of them getting sold off um, with the supply that was there on Friday. And th these cards were, I think either they were put on the market by EA or which I think that's the most the easiest way to describe it because when i open packs and when i watch people open packs nobody is getting these cards so um i think they're still going to drop because there's a lot of supply but if you watch griezmann he was 1570 rose up to 117 drop back down for the lightning rounds and then now is back up to 167 weekend league is going to be ending over these next two days i know with the extension it's going to make the sell-off a little bit more funky won't be as uh, centralized but i do think you'll see this guy like 155 um I think you'll see a decent drop on the Griezmann. So that's kind of, you know, Hazard, Griezmann, and Rashford. Those are kind of all in the same spot. Rashford, I think, is going to be 1.6 million coins, 165 today on Sunday. I could see it being possible. One other thing that matters is if they actually end up running lightning rounds on Sunday. They In the past couple of promos, they haven't. I feel like for full birthday, they might. So just keep a heads up for lightning rounds. They know they have a lot of people that are hyped up on the game. I could see them running lightning rounds today on Sunday, and that would mean more supply and probably some lower prices for these cards as we head into the week and the sell-off. This Havertz is taking, he's going down in price a lot. He fluctuated yesterday from 525 to 550, which isn't a crazy amount, but he's down over 100K from where he was earlier today. So I'm kind of watching this card. If he gets to 425 or 430, I might be interested for a pickup there, but I feel like this card's gonna drop. I've heard reports that he is very clunky in game. So most of these cards are going to drop. And you know, when is your buy time, right? Let's talk about Alan St. Maximum next. When is your buy time on a lot of these cards? I think your buy time on these is either going to be midweek if EA drops a massive SBC that tons of people have to go sell cards to go and complete or like it would have to be a Pogba type SBC for, for the market to be really panicking um, or rewards time. Honestly, a lot of people have, have said in the past that during rewards is like the best time to buy on Thursdays when everybody opens up their weekend league rewards. That's when it's a good time to buy. Also, for the higher tier cards and for the really meta cards that people are going to want to buy, like a St. Maximum or like a, a Rashford or a Griezmann, sometimes you actually want to buy those cards before rewards in the sell-off. So we'll talk about that later this week. But if you're targeting these cards, I would target a Wednesday night or a Thursday during rewards kind of buy time. I do think they'll rise a little bit out of packs. The next opportunity that you might have to buy them after that is that, like if they do a guaranteed foot birthday SBC, I think it would be during uh, team two because this is a two week promo. We're getting a second team. So if you want to buy one of these players and you want to wait for that SBC, I do think that you would get a pretty good buy price uh, if you waited until that second set when the SBC code would be put out and i would of course tell you guys about that on twitter i'd make a video about it and say hey this is coming so that you're aware of course keep you in the know like we do um but those are kind of like my buy times for these cards so keep your eye on this for thursday i think we're going to get pack supply sbcs all week this week um they've been putting them out like the foot 09 the foot 10 um sbcs that we got today which i can show you because i've already completed it but 
Uh, have I completed it? Foot 10. Oh, I haven't completed it yet. Prime Electrum Players Pack. We'll probably get foot 11. Oh, two days remaining. I still think we'll get like a foot 11, foot 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, th these are going to keep going throughout the rest of this week. So I do expect more of the pack supply SPCs and they're making them tradable. So they're putting tradable cards on them on the market. Um, and of course, when we get an SPC like this, Foot Birthday Amavi, this gave out tradable pack supply as rewards. And a lot of people did this SPC today, I think. French left back, foot birthday, five star skiller. A lot of people would be interested. As you saw with some panic selling on left backs today. Um, whenever we have an SBC like this that a lot of people go and do, that's, you know, pack supply for the market as well. So keep an eye on that sort of stuff because there's just going to be more and more SBCs throughout this week that could have pack supply that could affect these cards on the market. Now, I want to go back into talking individually about these cards. Saint. Maximin. This card is still crazily overpriced. I know he's so good in game. I know he's got the best reviews out there. I know people are saying he's cracked. Five star, five star with really, really good statistics. Big, massive boost. Very linkable. But 83 finishing for 1.2 mil? Come on, man. This card, I think, is going to be back around a million coins uh, in the next two or three days. At least under 1.1 mil. I think him in at 125 is just crazy. This guy has a lot of supply. Alan St. Maximum was packed a lot on Friday. It doesn't look like it right now, but he has a lot of supply. Right now, it's nighttime. We have five full pages of supply. And think about how many people have that card in their teams. And I was watching today. I was watching one of my friends uh, was trying to pick up this Maximum card. He was trying to get him for like 1.2 mil flat. When Maximum was like 125, 126, he was really, really trying to get him as on an undercut. And this card was popping up fresh literally all the time. Now, these are these are not fresh cards. People are like done with their weekend league and they're listing them. But tomorrow during the middle of the day, um, if there's lightning rounds, watch and see how many of these are listed up fresh. Like when you're trying to snipe this guy on the market, you're just checking his price. If you're sitting here comparing price or trying to snipe him, just watch and see how many of them come up because lots of this card come up. This card is very supplied. He has a lot of demand, but I think that supply is gonna kinda overweigh the demand, especially if we get some good SBCs this week. People will kinda forget about this, go to the SBC, and you might see a little bit of panic selling on a card like this. Same thing with Sissoko. Sissoko has a lot of supply. He's a little bit overpriced in my opinion. And that kinda takes us into the lower tier cards, right? After we talk about Sissoko and St. Maximum, we're in all cards that are under like 200k, right? 300k. Lucas Hernandez, 279. Jao Cancelo, 194. A lot of people lost coins on that. Irving Lozano, 115, man. 115k for this card. It's crazy. I think this is pretty cheap, to be honest. Four star, five star, five star skills. Uh, he's got the height from being OP in past FIFAs. What about these cards on the lower end of the spectrum? What are these cards going to do this week as well? These cards are going to continue to drop, in my opinion. Cancelo. A lot of people think he's too cheap. He was 180K this morning, I think. There were some people that bought this card to invest and he actually went lower um, right around 6 p.m. UK because people were selling their investments as people thought he was going to go up in price, which he did a little bit, but then there was a lot of over-investing that happened. He got panic sold down to 180. Now he's back to 190. I do think he'll hit back to 180 again uh, just because the pack supply on these cards, and I'm telling you guys, the pack supply is high there's a lot of these cards that are on the market and you can tell that in the middle of the day the best time to really check pack supply is in the like 6 7 p.m uk go on the market and just scroll through all the pages and then do that same thing like at, at night like when my videos go live if you're up and able to do that check the supply you, you'll tell that it's a lot different but that's how you can get a good gauge of supply on these cards lozano at 115 i mean that is cheap if any of you guys are interested in lozano or cancelo um, these would be cards that I would wait for the pack supply on weekend league rewards to, to try to get into as well, because this guy is 190 right now, according to footbin 187. And if we go to 220 K, so we're going up 30,000 coins in price. How many pages do we have? We have a lot of pages. And again, we're in the heat of the weekend league. So a lot of these cancelos are in people's teams being used. We have how many pages of supply? We have 10, we have 11, we have 11 full pages, 30K up. Uh, that's a lot of supply. Trust me, I look at these promo cards all the time. I think that's a lot of supply. Even at 10K up, how many pages do we have? We have two pages. So that's not crazy. You might see them go to 200K. Uh, but, you know, I do think this card will be back at 180, 175 even. 
later this week. Irving Lozano, I mean, if this Lozano card gets to 100K, I think that's pretty cheap. Like, honestly, too cheap. But it looks like it's going to get there sooner rather than later because this card right now is like 115,000 coins, which is crazy. Yeah, and look at this. Look at how much supply he has at 117K, man. So this card's definitely going to get down to 100K flat, I would think. That would be like a decent buy price for me. And of course, one thing that we can't plan for this week is when when or if EA puts out any SBC that these cards would be affected by, right? Like today they put out a French left back. What if they put out a Serie A right back SBC? Like um, it wouldn't have to be a Napoli right back because we already have the Malqui. But let's say they gave Malqui, right? Let's say they did another Malqui SBC or just a, a Serie A right back. You might see this Lozano tick up in price, you know, and if it's a really, really good value right back that a lot of people go out and do because it's just really cheap and people need Serie A right backs or whatever, then you might see this card rise up. You could also see the reverse effect, and I could see something like this happening on maybe, maybe not a Jao Cancelo, but maybe somebody like Musa Sissoko. This would be a prime target to get um, hit by in price by an SBC coming out because... The foot flashbacks that EA has been talking about, and I can show, show this to you guys really quick to, to jog your memory. The foot favorite SBCs, which is what I tweeted about on Saturday. I thought they were going to come out. I thought they were going to release a foot favorite. These are basically flashback SBCs that are foot favorites uh, from other years of FIFA Ultimate Team. And I feel strongly that either a Pogba is going to come out, a Pogba, or a Bakayoko. And if either of those SBCs come out, those are both French center defensive mids. Boom, you have a French center defensive mid. That would hurt the Sissoko price a decent amount, I think. A lot of people are just hyped for full birthday stuff right now, right? The uh, French left back that came out today. What happened to other French left backs on the market? This Lucas Digne card. I sold him for 177,000 coins on Friday after he was panic sold and then rose after the promo. 140K. Don't mind if I do for that. He was 170 there. He's dropped so much already. I'm a fan of buying cards like this. Premier League French, you're always going to need links like that in your squads. Dig Day's not the best card ever. Still a solid card. So if you see that guy like 140K, um, that's not a bad pickup in my opinion. By the way, on uh, PlayStation, uh, for Xbox price, I'd have to check the graph. Uh, but maybe Xbox, got to respect the Xbox guys, right? Always got to respect the Xbox guys. Xbox, it looks like if we could see somewhere in the, actually like the 130 range, like 130 flat or 130 lower than 130 would be great uh, for this card in my opinion. Under one under 130K on Xbox. But um, when you see Panic selling like this, I mean, it's, it's a like-minded um, card. It's a French left back. We got a French left back today. Um, but that tells me that people are doing this SBC. I know it's a solid card. But it's a bit pricey, you know, a little bit expensive. But if we see like a, a Bakioko or a Pogba SBC, I do think Sissoko would take a hit. And if it's that good a value, you might even see a guy like Alan St. Maximum take a hit or Griezmann, even though they technically are linked to that card uh, or Rashford, they might even take a hit because it might be in a little bit of a, an expensive SBC. But if it's cheap enough that people have to sell stuff to go do it, you know, you might see some stuff like that. So, the mass consensus is any of the foot birthday cards, if you want to buy them this week, hold, right? Because again, if we get more SBCs this week, we're going to get more pack supply from SBC packs, from, um, you know, squad battle rewards, and then whatever other packs that they throw out into this game. Did they say something about engagement rewards? Yeah, engagement streak rewards. Well, these are from objectives. So I don't know if these objective packs would be untradeable. Does it say anything in here? Uh, you get two rewards, mega pack, a run, one rare player pack. That's from the daily. Where is the, where's this one at? The completionist. You get a mega pack. Does it say untradeable? It doesn't say untradeable, but I bet it is. Uh, so there's not any pack supply coming in from that. But I just think that throughout this week, if there's more SBCs that are coming out, coins are constantly being drained right now in this game because of these SBCs. And they're going to put out more and more SBCs which drains the prices of cards in the market because then people go sell cards, go do an untradeable version, and that means they lose coins in the end, especially with this mid-icon SBC. A lot of people are still doing this um, just because it's there and they can have a chance at an icon. So I still think that there will be dropping of these cards on the market this week. If you feel like you agree, 
Let me know in the comments. I want to hear you guys' thoughts because this is a tricky situation, man. These cards have a lot of hype because they are foot birthday items. But again, the supply for me was just a lot on Friday and it's still a decent amount now. Whatever content EA could put out this week could drop these cards in price as people focus to other areas. And then if we do get a guaranteed foot birthday SBC next week during Team 2, that could be another in on some of these cards as well. So my feeling would be wait for these cards after Weekend League, watch them through the week, maybe on Thursday, and then we'll kind of talk about it and we'll go over it. We'll be watching these cards tightly throughout the week this week. So we'll be covering all the price ranges, price valuations and, and uh, variances here on the channel for sure. Cause these cards are hyped. A lot of people like to use them and they look dope. Love, I, I think the card design is kind of cool. It's different, but I think it's cool. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.